Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Maybe like that. Oh, did you leave the freak show already? I did. I'm leaving the freak show until last because I don't want to waste tickets. And uh, as much as fun as this Let's Play is, I don't want to spend another 20 minutes farming tickets in order to uh, to show off the uh, fantastic freak show and then have to come back. So we're going to do it all in one go as our last act of this level. Well, fair. I don't want to leave our viewers on tender hooks here, but trust us, it's all part of my master plan. As one does. Indeed. So our first job here is to give the juggler a skittle to uh, basically entertain him for a while. Hmm. That's that's a little bit harder. And they get a, I think you get a ball out of that. Yes, I get a red ball. Cool. The next job then is to hook up uh, our fire breeder here with our muscle man. I'll give you one of my old fire batons. Second, you can light it here in my fire barrel. That should be it. Are you ready? Watch me carefully. Can you imagine the risk assessment someone would have to do here? Over um, this. Can you imagine the head melt this would take? If anyone actually gave a shit. Yeah, true. It, it's amazing just how expedient things can get done if no one give no one involved actually gives a shit. <laughs> this is very true. I can't tell you how I found out, but I know that Gino the strong man is sending them. Oh, no. That big oh. Ugh. Like he's kind of in earshot, so I don't know why he's she's giving out like this. What if he tattoos your name on his arm? No. Mm, I don't know. If he were willing to do that, maybe it would be a start. Just a start? Me. Your husband died Lovely. all of, <laughs> what, fucking minutes ago? Presumed dead. A, a I mean, it's time ago? to move on. Come on, like, she's young at heart, you know. She needs to uh, keep herself active. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I know you're the one writing love poems to Inferno. Why don't you just tell her? Yes, love I am a rat bastard. You better know. Uh, what? I... Uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, crap. Uh, how did you figure it out? I mean, I'm afraid to tell her. <laughs> afraid? It's a so cute, isn't it? Like Look at him squirm. Uh, I could look at him, look him go red from here. Neck, but I'm scared of telling her how I feel. I mean, but maybe why? he's wearing a lot of bronzer. She won't take me seriously. No, she no, that's I'm blusher. He's wearing. Me. I don't know how to really prove sure. my love. No, no, it, it, you're right. It is. It's probably like, as is often the case, it's not necessarily bronzer. It's just a whole lot of baby oil. That's not such a bad idea. Yeah, if that don't prove yeah. how serious I am, then I don't know what is. I mean, it does work. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying it doesn't. <laughs> Ooh. And it's the spookiest thing that's happened so far in this uh, recording. What, well, seeing him run? Yes, disappear into the night. To the uh, mysterious tattoo parlor on the side of the island. I mean, he, ha he has to beat the queue, so that's why he ran. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know. the, the line is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, we laugh now. It looks quiet now, but give it like half an hour after lunchtime and the tattoo parlor is just fucking jammers, you know? And lo and behold, there he is, getting work done. Yep. Ooh, and now for some you're bullshit. You're getting a real tattoo? <laughs> cool! Yes. What is it? It's a big heart with Inferno's name on it. Uh, I hope this gets her attention. Wow, you must really I didn't really appreciate that in the initial recording how yeah, fat the tattoo artist is, but he is just like a genuinely round human being. Yep, I mean, like, it's impressive. That, that is. Yeah, especially because, you know, you just set up, they have to like pick stuff up and move it around. He looks like he doesn't move at all. <laughs> That's the same, he's just. He did, it's only the upper body that moves, the lower body has been there since 1995, you know? Oh Jesus! He's been welded into that seat. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing, you little thief? 
Okay. So the gimmick here is that you have to take the needle when he's not looking. He's basically doing his work on uh, on Gino. So I know, obviously this is a paranoid bugger because like he he's not really concentrating. He's just glancing over and moving his hand. Yeah. Like that. Like that. That just looks like it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> I don't, to be fair, I don't think it was going to be good in the first place. It was always going to be bad. Yeah. Like, nothing nothing really says, like, a good tattoo, like, getting your crush's name in a love heart and assuming that she's just going to fall in love with you as a result. Like, that's... I know romance is a very complicated thing, but I don't think it's, like, can be solved that easily. Yeah. It's never going to try the carousel. There's gotta be a way. This must be for the merry-go-round. But it's all rusted up. And it's observed. So after about half an hour of diddling about, I think it's time to start solving all these uh, carnival problems. Oh yeah. Yeah. But this gets us to the other side of the island, <laughs> as you will see. Uh -oh. Do you know what I think every carnival carousel should have? Oh, Dragons. Mm. Well, yeah, that should go without saying. Yeah. I just don't see many uh, carousels that do it, you know? I think it's uh, probably a bit too obvious, I guess. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh cutscene. He says, after never been to a carnival since he was three. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's sad he doesn't get to eat a child today. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Not today. I can't go that spooky. Yes. That, it, it certainly is spooky. That's the word. That is I almost certainly the word. Spooky. What's yours? Oliver Tweed. And I may say that I have never seen so little as Sarah in my life. To be fair, this is probably the cleanest, cleanest, classiest guy here. I mean, yeah. Like, it, it's still exactly a high bar, but yeah. No, that's to say, like he's he's in a class of one at the minute. Why? Well, no, I think the ring leader is at least clean. Mm, or true. Knows what a path is. <laughs> yeah, physically clean, financially not so much. No. No. How many tickets to get in? It don't matter to you, runt. Spanky's arm was way over your head, so I'm straight. Come back in about three years. <laughs> you know it's bad if you start saying pig laughing at you. Yep. That's but, just awful. But lo and behold, we have the solution to this puzzle. We do. Okay, Shrimpo, step up to the sign and Spanky will... Smile angrily at you. I guess you're okay, Stretch. Thank you. It's so, like, <laughs> he saw that happen and he's just fine with it. I I do love how the she had to whisper thank you to a statue of a clown. I just... How many tickets to get in? She was fair. Honestly, the... You grew up real quick. The clown might... The damnedest thing I ever saw. No, 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 that, 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 that... That sign is that clown statue is like I don't yeah. think I can still go fucking there. terrifying. Stop! Stop trying to reason with it, Paul. It's not gonna work. I don't think I can go there. Observe as they try to exchange tickets for goods and services and make hard work of it. Oh yeah. And off we pop into a. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The last guy open does swing open because there's some surprise thing there. Yes. But at the speed that swings open, that's going to clock someone. <laughs> yes, that's our uh, concussion gate that uh, every good spooky house has. And now this is the tunnel of goats. Goats. Like, it, it's, it's got things, but I wouldn't call them goats. I mean, no. I'll be honest, go goats are terrifying. Have you seen their eyes? Yeah, they're, they're weird. There's a lot of things about goats I don't like. 
Oh, check this out. This is cool. What? Uh, what? what am I doing here? Who am I? Get them oh, yeah. Me. Yeah. Out. I want out. God fucking damn it. So we're still Max. You know, just to, just to be clear, we are still Max. Although... In case there's any doubt. In case there's any doubt, yeah. And now we've reached the other side of the haunted house. Which is nice. With a obnoxious theater clown. The really fucking loud one. Yes. So something weird happened here, where I was trying to talk to the clown. But because of the positioning... For where he was positioned... The game thinks I was trying to talk to the banister. So it wouldn't register, so I couldn't talk to the clown in this playthrough. Rest assured, you miss absolutely fuck all from that clown. <laughs> well, as long as you can assure me of that. I what all these star pictures mean. Well, going by our like last last recording, I think he had absolutely nothing to contribute. So I think we're okay. Hello, my name is Sarah. Wow, you knew. Of course I do. I'm quite skilled in the mystic arts, my child. My name is Lady of Alma. That and your listening distance to the tattoo parlor where we would have had this conversation already. I met another fortune teller. His name is... Zippy. Mm. That pinhead. Well, yes, the lady has something the fucking glowing on going on with her hair anyway. She does look radiant. I think it's fair to say. Would you tell me my future? Normally yeah. I would charge that, that, you. Pretty fucking bright. But with the mm -hmm. way things are, I see no point in it. Come closer. I will need to see your paws. I see that you are far from home, and that you are not who you appear to be. Yep, starting off vague. Continue as you mean to go on. Important problem. Although God outside damn it. forces conspire against you. How unusual. Your hand tells the stories of someone easily three times your age. I have a medical condition. I'm a God fucking damn it. But I, I have to get a special one cream. Final piece of advice. On your way home, beware the pit of darkness. You can only pass through safely when you've sought out the wand, flask, and reflection. That is uh, the clues for the uh, next level. Which is the boss battle. Um, and actual fucking teleportation. Sick. Yes. And even with a smoke bomb as well. Which makes it even. I, 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 I think it's twice as good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what the exchange rate nowadays is. It used to be three times as good, but, you know, currency and all that changes. It's very fluid these days. Yeah. Mm. That was. Well, that's a whatever the hell that was. Yes. What it was, we were very thankful for what was fast travel. So let's not uh, let's not slag off the game there. It did us a favor. I mean, yeah, fair. So now it's time to finally go to the freak show to uh, see what it has. Hooray! So this is why we saved up all those tickets a good while ago, just so we can see what's in here. This is the end game, lads. The crown jewel, if you will, in this here carnival. Uh, I don't know. Well, in the carnival, sure. Not in the town, obviously. Someone broke out of this cage, or something. So let's talk to the contortionist. What's yours? I am Fred Zhu, a master of elasticity. Ooh, can you light up a light bulb? <laughs> I do like that joke. Oh no, not electricity. God damn. Like, I imagine he, like, what there's probably mean? several people a day that, that make that joke to him. Yeah. And stretch my yeah. Head. And all different yeah, accents, the, all sorry, different sorry, age the whole groups. The hovering in How air that thing, that, that's a bit cool. That is a bit cool. It's also absolutely showing off. <laughs> Just to say. I mean, he could, he could easily get whipped for doing that. Oh god, imagine like the Irish religious mam mammy. If she saw that, she'd fucking burn him alive. Sinner, burn him alive. 
preying on anyone or anything that dares to venture into the water. Actually, that's probably true of the entire it's freak no show. secret hmm. that Iggy hated it here at the freak show. Hated the whole circus. He wants revenge. Iggy is afraid of fire, but as long as he stays out in the water, he's untouchable. We are doomed. He's taken a well, in fairness. How long have you he seems to have come to terms with the idea he I will mean, 